All right, it's chip of the day. People love chip of the day. The chip of the day is TPSM336X5. It is a 3 volt to 36 volt input, 1 volt to 15 volt output, 1.5 and 2.5 and and synchronous buck converter power module in a hot rod, trademarked, quad flat pack package. Uh, it's a buck converter, <laughs> okay? Just a simple buck converter. And uh, I want to go through this part because uh, it's featured in this little chip here or uh, module from PN Labs. I, I talked about them on a different video. I'll, I'll try to link it down below. PN Labs here. Uh, it says it is a settable output buck converter. And indeed, this one has a little jumper area. So, you, so I can set this one to 3.3, 5, 9, and 12 volts. So uh, we will use this as our demo today. But uh, let's take a look at the part. Um, Versatile synchronous buck DC to DC module, integrated MOSFET in MOSFETs and inductor C boot capacitor and controller. Now, um, if you took a look at this controller board here, you would notice that there's no inductor anywhere. Um, now, the part is a little bit on the chubby side, uh, and so it actually has uh, the inductor built in. So it's not exactly just a chip, it's actually a little module. Um, so there's a capacitor in there and there's an inductor in there. And so that's all done for you in this really weird little package that we'll talk about. Uh, let's see here, adjustable frequencies uh, from 200 kilohertz to 2.2 megahertz using the RT pin, that's really cute. Um, high efficiency, uh, 88%. Um, ran optimized for ultra low EMI requirements, dual random sped spread spectrum. So you could have it uh, dither the uh, frequencies. And so it'll spread the RF energy uh, uh, and not have a big spike at exactly at 200 kilohertz or whatever it is, right? Uh, just mop the voltages, blah, 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 blah. And so, yeah, so here is a typical schematic, right? So input, output, and really, uh, you just need to put a couple of capacitors on it and then a resistor divider to set the frequency, the uh, vol voltage that you want. So just a feedback. Uh, so you divide the output into your feedback and that's all there is to it. So super, super simple to, to use. All right. So let's see here. Let's see what else does the data sheet say? Um, all right, there are different versions here. Uh, we have the uh, two and a half amp versions and the one and a half amp versions. Uh, the one that I have is the two and a half amp version. Okay, so this, this little guy is two and a half amps. Um, all right. Uh, so this is the pin out of the device. So it's a surface mount device. And take a look at the, the footprint is really weird. Um, I've never seen such, such a footprint on any device. Not only are they spaced weird, but they're different sizes and different places. And yeah, pretty, pretty strange stuff. All right, let's, uh, look at a little bit more before we go play with the part. Um, I haven't really gone through the data sheet very much. Uh, da, 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 da. Feedback voltage is one volt, so you put your resistor divider to generate one volt. Uh, there's a soft start of 3.3 milliseconds. Yeah, so I mean, you know, they think about these things, right? They've been building parts like this for a long time, and yeah. So let's look at the uh, block diagram because it's it is quite complicated as well. Let's zoom out a bit. All right, so we have uh, the oscillator that creates the uh, wacka 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 for the uh, DC to DC converter. We have an oscillator here, and you can have different modes, and you can have uh, uh, RT, so you can have uh, uh, something that varies the the uh, frequency, so it spreads the spectrum. There's an enable pin. Here's the feedback amplifier down here, the one volt. Um, soft start and bin gap, okay. 
uh, ground P good. That's a, a open drain uh, that you can put an LED on or monitor it with a microprocessor. It tells you if you've got good, if the parts going good or not. Uh, our voltage is up. Uh, control logic and driver. Okay, so here's kind of the, the DC to DC converter part, right? So it's got two wacka wackas, one wax to ground and one wax to plus five. So it's going whack, whack, whack. Going to the high side, then the low side, then the high side, then the low side. And it is going through a 2.2 microhenry inductor that's built in. Uh, so that's pretty cute. Okay, so I say we turn one on, play with it. Uh, and see how it does. Yeah, here's the package. Look at that. Is that a weird package? Yeah. Very, very, very interesting why they, why they chose what they chose. But yeah, like I said, it is a little bit, a little bit of a chubby part. So uh, let's go ahead and pick what we want. Let's go ahead and pick uh, five volts. I will jumper five volts. I assume I have to jumper both of these for five volts. And, uh, We'll get it going. All right, let's see if I can uh, create a little solder jumper there. They do have little chevrons, so it should make it easier to put the little blobs on. Uh, let's go ahead and put a blob on this. And there we go. Put a little blob on this one, a little bit more. There we go. That was easy to do. And uh, oops, I got a little blob over there. I don't think it's making contact, but let me, let me use some solder. That's here. Oops. Wow. I just pulled a whole bunch of my soldering iron. Ah. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Be more careful than I was. All right. Let's uh, clean that up a bit. Oh, let me go ahead and solder the header on. It comes with a header in the kit. So let me, let me solder the header on so we can play with it on a breadboard. Okay. Uh, this board also comes with um, castellations on the side, so you can put it on a board like a like it's its own surface mount part. All right, so we have it all hooked up, uh, and I'll measure the voltage going in. I've got. Uh, uh, 12 volts. Oops. I've got 12 volts going in. Getting ground the right way around. I've got 12 volts coming in. And I got uh, 5 volts going out. So let me show you. Let me show you that. Uh, here is the uh, here's the input voltage 12.27. Here's the output 5.01. Very nice. Okay, so um, it works as expected. Uh, I did get the uh, LED wrong. So when the, when the, uh, let's see, I will just say, uh, so I have the enable, it's bar enable, so I have it grounded. If I put bar enable uh, high, which means don't output any voltage. Uh, so when the uh, thing's not outputting voltage is when the LED is on. So really the LED is a no good LED. It's like there's some, an error LED. There's something, there's something wrong. And if you actually are generating voltages, like a so, then uh, the LED is off. So that was just the only, the only strange thing about it. Otherwise, it works, it works as expected. Now uh, I don't, I'm not drawing any current, and uh, the package. Uh, let's see, the uh, little kit that I have did come with a little. Um, Heat sink, and I don't know if the heat sink would be better on the bottom side of the PC board or on the package. I'm imagining it would be better on the package, but take a look at the size. Look at the size of the uh, heat sink in regards to the actual package. So I think it would be better to put it on the back side. 
um, just because, just because um, I don't like it. It's going to fall off if it's on that tiny little thing up there. Um, and there is a large ground plane on the PC board, so I think having on the back side would help a little bit of the heat come out. And now I'm kind of in the way of my header. Uh, but anyway, yeah, there you go. All righty. I have uh, the device, and it is running at 2 amps right now. So 2 amps is coming out. Uh, it is getting to about... Uh, this side's about 80 C. Oh, that's pretty toasty. Yeah, that's pretty toasty. What's the max temperature of this thing? Let's see. Let me look in the data sheet. Let me look in the data sheet. Electrical character X recommended. 125 C. No, that's not it. Package temperature. No, it's operating junction temperature. So yeah, 80 is fine. 80 is fine for this part. It's going to get toasty. And the output is uh, about plus or minus 50 millivolts of ripple. And uh, you can see it being dithered. Uh, the frequency is, is dithered to spread the spectrum. And if I go back to DC, uh, it's nice, nice five volts there with a little bit of just a tiny bit of ripple in it. So, yeah, pretty nice part. It is a TPSM336. So cute little part. Has a built-in built-in inductor. Um, yeah.